Hello YouTube and welcome, in this video I would like to do with you the unboxing of this commander deck from the set Six Haven School of Mages and this one is the Winterbloom Witchcraft so back of the box we can read Life and Death Interwine Choose your commander and overcome both friend and foe in this definitive multiplayer magic format team up with Willow Dusk and serve up to Kittle of Camility to your opponents. Brew powerful spells with your own life force and watch your creatures squeeze in size. Witherbloom College. Witherbloom mages draw power from the Tom to me between life and death. They are home riding zombie crocs down the river, picking herbs for potions and summoning fiercing ancient avatars of nature. So this box contains a deck box, a hundred deck cards with 17 new cards, 10 double-sided token cards, a life wheel, a strategy insert and a reference card. So let's see what we can get in this one. And first of all, I would like to thank to Big Michael that makes this video available for us. So, here we have our deck box and an amazing art in this one. Taking everything from the box, here we have the life wheel. This is the surgery insert for this deck. Here we have our thick uh, paper for our command card, our tokens, and of course our deck. So let's crack it. Just checking this. Okay. Now is in the right position. So, starting with our commander, Willow Dusk, Accents Seer, 3 drops, for 1 tap it, choose another target creature, put a number of plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, equal to the amount of life you gain this turn, or the amount of life you lost this turn, whichever is greater. Activate only as a sorcery, and it is a 3-3. Three, three. Crazy. Jump Master Chef for drops is trample. At the beginning of your end step, create a number of food tokens equal to the number of non token creatures you had enter in the battlefield under your control this turn. And for one, sacrifice a food, a food target creature gains instability until the end of the turn and tap it. And it is a 5 3. A uh, reference card. Blight Mount, 3 drops. Attaching pests you control gets plus 1, plus 0, and half menace. Whenever a non token creature you control dies, create a 1 1 black and green pest creature token with when this creature dies, you gain 1 life. Excess Pulse, <coughs> 4 drops, you gain for 2 life. Each creature gets minus X, minus X until the end of the turn, where X is the amount of life you gain at this turn. Marshland Bloodcaster, 5 drops, he has flying, for 2 tap it. Rather than pay this mana cost of the next spell you cast this turn, you may pay life equal to that spell minus value, and it is a 3-5. Tivash Gloom Summoner, 5 drops, he has lifelink, at the beginning of your 
end step if you gain life this turn you may pay x life where x is the amount of life you gain this turn if you do create a xx black demon creature token with flying and it is a 4-4 then which coven three drops he has mana so whenever you gain life you may pay for a black mana if you do return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand and it is a 3-3 nice card Usoming Bog Bog Beast, 5 drops. Whenever attacks, you gain 2 life. Then creatures you control gain trample and get plus X plus X until the end of the turn, where X is the amount of life you gain this turn. And it is a 3 3. Is the root channeler, 6 drops. He has reach. Creature spells you cast cost X less to cast, where X is the amount of life gained this turn. Tap it, you gain 2 life. And it is a 4 6. Healing Technique, 4 drops, he has Demonstrate, when you cast this spell you may copy it, if you do choose an opponent to also copy it, players may choose new targets for their copies. Return target card from your graveyard to your hand, you gain life equal to that card's mana value, Exile, Healing Technique. Best Infestation, 2 X's and a uh, green. This Destroy up to X target artifacts and or enchantments. Create twice X 1-1 one, one black and green pest creatures tokens with when this creature dies you gain one life. Spro back juggle. Nine drops. This spell cost X less to cast where X is the amount of life you gain this turn. He has trample at the beginning of your end step. If you gain life this turn you may cast Sprout back struggle from your graveyard and it is a 9-7. Interesting card. Struggle Garden, 3 drops. Whenever you gain life you may pay for 2 if you do create a 4-4 green fungus beast creature token with trample. Your daughter Grave Gardener, 5 drops. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies you may return it to the battlefield face down under his owner control. It's a forest land and it is a 5 5. Revival experiment. 6 drops for each permanent type. Return up to one card of that ca type from your graveyard to the battlefield. You lose 3 life for each card returning this way. Exile revival experiment. Witch clinic. Tap it for a class mana. For 2 tap it, target commander gains lifelink until the end of the turn. Blood Tracker, 4 drops, he has flying, for 1 pay 2 life, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Blood Tracker, when he leaves the battlefield draw cards equal to each plus 1 plus 1 counter on it, and it is a 2-2. Two, two. Dumbable Pack, X and 2 black mana, target player discards X cards and loses X life. Deadly Tempest. 6 drops, destroy all creatures, each player loses life equal to the number of creatures they control it that were destroyed this way. Defiant Blood Lord, 7 drops, he has flying, whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life and it is a 4-5. Nuxius Gear Hook, 6 drops, drops, he has menace. When enters the battlefield, you may destroy another target creature. If a creature is destroyed this way, you gain life equal to his toughness, and it is a 5 4. Obnixil is Regimate, 5 drops and 5 loyalty points. For a plus 1, you draw a card and you lose 1 life. For minus 3, destroy target creature. If for minus 8, target opponent gets an emblem, which, whenever a player draws a card, you lose 2 life. Sangromancer, 4 drops, he has flying. Whenever a creature your opponent control dies, you may gain 3 life. Whenever an opponent discards a card, you may gain 3 life. And it is a 3 3. Sanguine Bone, 5 drops. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. Taste of Death, 6 drops. Each player sacrifices 3 creatures, you create 3 food tokens. Angelus Entity, 5 drops, whenever you gain life, 
put that many plus one plus one counters on Aegis Entity, and it is a 4 4. This is Renewal. Six drops, search a library of three basic land cards, put it on the battlefield, tap it, then shuffle, you gain seven life. Verdant Sun's Avatar, seven drops. When Verdant Sun's Avatar or another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life equal to that creature's Tegnus, and it is a 5-5. Five, five. Gaze of Granite, X and three drops, destroy each non-land permanent with mana value X or less. Glutinous Troll, 4 drops, a trample. When it is about to field, create a number of food tokens equal to the number of opponents you have. And for 2, sacrifice another non-land permanent. Glutinous Troll gets plus 2 plus 2 until the end of the turn, and it is a 3-3. Sapling Kolfnor, 5 drops, is indestructibility. Whenever he attacks, reveal the top card of your library. If it is a creature card, you gain life equal to that card's Tegnus. Lose this life equal to this power, then put that card in your hand, and it is a 2-5. Alhamarest Archive, 5 drops. You would gain life, you gain twice that much life instead. If you would draw a card, except the first one, you draw each of your draw steps, draw 2 additional cards. Nice. Druidic Satchel, 3 drops, for 2 tap it, reveal the top card of your library, if it is a creature card, create a 1-1 one, one green suppering creature token, if it is a land card, put it on the battlefield under your control, if it is a non-creature, non-land card, you gain 2 life. Luxed on 1 hammer, 3 drops, you keep creature gets plus 3 plus 0, and has trample and lifelink, and he has uh, keep cost of 3. Vencer's Journal, 5 drops, you have no maximum hand size, at the beginning of your unkeep you gain 1 life for each card in your hand. Will of Lost Dreams, 4 drops, whenever you gain life you may pay X, where X is less than or equal to the amount of life you gain it, if you do draw X cards. Exotic Orchard, tap it, add 1 mana of any color a land an opponent controls could produce. High Market, tap it for a colorless mana, tap it, sacrifice a creature, you gain 1 life. Lone War Wastes, tap it for a colorless, or tap it for a black or green mana, Lone War Wastes deals 1 damage to you. Temple of Melody, he enters the battlefield, tap it, when he enters the battlefield, sacrifice 1, uh, sorry, uh, scry 1, tap it for a black or a green mana. Now we have the Uncommons, Honor Troll, Dina Soul Stepper, Mortality Spear, Winterbloom Campus, Study Hall, Asian Craving, Bloodthirsty Aerialist, Epicure of Blood, Feed the Swarm, Greed, Reckless Spite, Silvermoat Ghoul, Suffer the Past, Vampire Nighthawk, Cultivate, Gift of Paradise, Pulse of Marusa, Rampart Growth, Leyline Prowler, Mold Divine Reclamation, Arcane Signet, Elixir of Immortality, Paradise Plum, Pristine Talisman, Soul Ring, Some Droplet, Talisman of Resi Resilience, Blighted Woodland, Command Tower, Gingerbread Cabin, Golgari Road Farm, Jungle Howl, Myriad Landscape, Radiant Fountain, Rogue's Passage, Subseep 
forest, tent wood, temple of the false gods, and now we have the basic land, so we have some swamps, and of course some forests. So this is the deck that came in this box. Now let's check the tokens for this deck. And here we have the food tokens. In this size, we also have demons. And in the other side, Fungus Beast, Sapling, Pest, and that's it. So that's the tokens for this commander deck. So this is what I have to share with you. I hope you like it, you enjoy it. Until the next time, see you.